up guys, it's Psyche here. Today we are in the lab. So, on, so last month I tested out a couple of uh, liquid cultures. So I tested out, I believe, one, two, only one and three. So I had lines, mates, I had uh, one and three. And so today, my goal is just, uh, they're kind of like all fruiting right now, so. I have to do a grain transfer, and I just wanted to pick out uh, the best rings. So, just wanted to give a quick overview. kind of deciding which ones I'm going to uh I'm going to go ahead and transfer my number threes. Yeah, then we're going to do threes. So, I'm going to do probably like a time lapse or something. And yeah, catch you in a sec. Welcome to the time lapse. So, I went ahead and uh, checked over my cultures again just to double check what I wanted. And as you can tell from the finger pointing on the screen, I went with three. So, I went ahead and put a, my cultures that I was not going to use away and proceeded to unload my pressure cooker. So this is pretty much what I do every time I uh, inoculate. I have my flow hood running about 30 minutes prior, make sure the air and everything in front is nice and clean. Then I unload the pressure cooker and make sure to give my jars a nice little shake. And the reason for the little shake is just to make sure none of the grains are like sticking together and it makes it easier for when I introduce the spawn to just kind of shake everything through and we don't have any clumps or anything like that. I'm also going to remove the lines means fruit that's at the top of my jars. I don't want to introduce uh, any of the fruiting body to the spawn because that can create problems if I let my jars go a little too long, like it could create some bacteria, just mold, maybe even uh, fungus gnats. Now, I had three jars left and I didn't feel like opening one of my lines mains and removing the fruiting bodies, so I had some uh, Inoki cultures that were laying around that were also ready to transfer, so I just did that for the last three jars. And uh, last but not least, very important, labeling the cultures and shaking everything through, making sure all of our grains are dispersed in there and that's going to ensure a faster colonizing time. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it this far, feel free to leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, feel free to leave a like, or don't. <laughs> it's up to you. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Psyche, out.